always in the way. What? I think that Heaton's got something that's not really found anywhere else. It's kind of all sorts and everything, 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 everything. I'd say that Heaton's quite unique within Newcastle and that it really has quite a strong identity all of its own. For me, Heaton, a lot of it's pretty old. Uh, it's been around for about 100 years, so we've got lots of different kinds of people living in Heaton now that we possibly didn't have 30 or 40 years ago. Uh, a lot more students, uh, a lot more families from lots of different parts of the world. Uh, the place has changed, it's changed. It's changed. The main thing I think about Heaton is it's, it is a very strong neighbourhood. It's quite a big area and covers quite a large population. 
people might come and go, lots of people change and move around. On a Saturday, it was really bustling. You'd have a, a queue waiting for you to open the door almost when you, when you came to open up. I like Chillingham Road in general because it's well, it's convenient. You can get almost anything you want there. Uh, Lots of litter, lots of, lots of takeaways. And that's changed things quite a bit. People in Heaton have, uh, have changed over the years, I suppose, because I mean, there's an awful lot of students now, and of course, that makes for a more multinational society. society. Heaton changed when supermarkets came along. That's that's for sure. The supermarkets had a huge impact on on everybody's life. If I tell people I live in Heaton, they'll often say that they used to live in Heaton, particularly the streets off Chillingham Road. It seems that everyone's sort of had that time in their life where they lived there after leaving home.
Un kilo de tomate. Rojo. Rojo. Cliff's been in Heaton since 1934, so that's uh, 77 years at the minute. And a lot of people come in and say how much part of their childhood this shop was. I think Cliff's has survived all these years because we've been here all these years. I think that's part of it. I always think that we're part of the history of Heaton. Heaton uh, was a very different place. Heaton Road was a, a bustling shopping area. We had uh, a lot of shops here. There was Bootlesses, there was the Co-op, there was Adrian, there was Goff's Television Shop, Gazelli's Over the Road, Ice Cream Parlour. Chocolate balls from the machine that stood next to the ticket office in Heaton Station kept many a kid happy on their journey to the seaside. Heaton Station had a smell all of its own. Years of smoky train fumes and diesel oil forced into the wooden walkways and platform ramps. I still remember it. I've always wanted to have a shop. I've tried to make the shop that I would like to go to. I felt like Heaton was the best place to do it because it has such a down-to-earth creative edge to it. Road. It's 
why it was peaceful. There wasn't a great deal of cause for children or then. Heaton was uh, was a very busy area. I'm talking about when I was uh, pretty young, you know, sort of um, up to 1970 thereabouts. There's always been a sort of a mixed area of working class and middle class. There's always been the, uh, you know, the higher class bits of Heaton and the, and the lower class, I suppose. Easy groove. Always starting, always ending. At Malcolm Street, my hidden home. For a year the centre of my groove. To and from college, a walk I never tired of. Even in deepest winter, with the wind cutting in off the time. To and from Morrison's, weighed down, with carrier bags and rucksack filled to bursting. To the sandwich shop, for my weekend breakfast stotty. And one time, Sandwiches for 20 men. They didn't ban either. To the corner shop for milk, when Morrison's was just too far. To my takeaways on Heaton Park Road, when cooking was too much of a chore. Wherever I went, always a welcome. The classic Geordie kindness. Real, unforced and true. All part of my groove. So easily worn, still familiar, still remembered with a smile. 